Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Sunny. Today I'll be showing you how to prepare cauliflower. So this is yet another installation into our Back to Basics series. Back to Basic is going to cover things like simple knife cutting techniques, cutting up fruit, cutting up vegetables, butchering meat, butchering fish, helping you find trustworthy kitchen gear and equipment, as well as just basic cooking fundamentals. If you're brand new to cooking, staying on the Back to Basics for a little while to learn some things could be a good idea for you. I understand that as you're finding these Back to Basic videos on YouTube, you may just be getting started with cooking, and you may not even have something like a trustworthy knife yet. I've taken the liberty to put four knives at different price points in the description box below this video. You'll have to click that show more button to reveal those links. So I just want to go over the price point of these knives. I think there's one in there for everybody and they're all brands that I know and trust. So all those knives down there, they're all 8 inch chef's knives. So I just wanted to get that across first. That's just the best size I think for an all around, all purpose knife. The first is a Mercer coming in at $14.99 which is just absolutely mind blowing. Uh, the reviews on that thing are incredible. I've never had one, but people are saying amazing things about that knife, and if you're on a real tight budget, that would definitely be the knife for you. The second one is J.A. Henkel's, coming in at $43.99. That's a very good mid to low range one. This is a knife that I've gifted to a lot of people. It's really light, stays very sharp. I would highly recommend that knife, especially if you like a lighter knife. The third knife is a Shun coming in at $79.95, so we're getting into that sort of mid-range with the knife now. The Shun is a trusted brand. That knife has a little bit more of a unique shape, so I would definitely read through some of the reviews to see if it's the right one for you. And finally, one of my favorite knife brands ever, MAC, coming in at $144.95. This is a little more expensive, but if you're looking for something to last you what would be probably a lifetime, then the MAC would be for you. This, these knives are just so reliable, and for the price point, you really can't beat it. So I think there's a knife down there for everybody. We've got those four price points. The first thing you're gonna need when you're getting into culinary is a good chef's knife, so I would start there. And I'll be going over much more as far as finding you some good equipment and knives. So, the first thing we want to do is to take a little bit of the bottom off, not a lot. That's enough, right? Just trying to get that big bulky piece off. Now, I found the easiest, I've cut up a million of these, and the easiest way I've found is to do this. You know, some people may not like this, but this is what I do. I'm going to slice the whole thing in half. So now, we have exposed the whole heart or root of it right here, right? This big piece. And so what's very easy, I'm going to take a little petty knife here and I'm just going to start cutting around those florets, sort of in a V-shape here, around the top, right? And now they're starting to fall off. Now I'll take my knife right down there. And so I've got that whole piece out in no time, right? That's why I do it. It's just so fast and easy. Let's do the other one. I mean, come on guys, like, could it, could it be easier? So then you've got that whole bit you didn't want right there off. And so now we're left with these big pieces, which we'll make in a little florette. So there's a few ways you could do this. And one way is just to break them, which is pretty easy to do. Just break them into pieces. And you could make them as big or as small as you want. I'm gonna start with some bigger sized pieces. And I'm literally just breaking it with my hands. So we've got some big pieces there. Another thing you could do is just to chop these with a knife. I'm not super opposed to that. Some people would shun that, but you could make these nice little quarter pieces like this. You know, I quite like that look. I think it's nice. You know, if you wanted to go real wild, you could get in here with a tiny little knife. See this? Now we're making these absolutely sweet little baby florets. Those are um, very nice for presentation. Another thing you could do, which I call cauliflower couscous, is to take a very sharp knife and with our knuckle guiding, we're just gonna start shaving this as thinly as possible. So that's pa 
paper thin. Then we're just gonna run our knife through it just ever so slightly, just once or twice. And so what we end up with is sort of this fine little couscous looking powder that we could then saute and make some really great dishes with. Another way to make that couscous is to use a mandolin. I'll put a link to this one. This is my favorite one. I'll drop it down there with the knives. And so, you know, that's a lot less effort to just let that slide through. You know, and you, and you end up with the same thing there. Just one thing I'd like to note that's not seen here is like a cauliflower steak. So you could take like literally a quarter of a whole cauliflower or you could take big slices of that whole cauliflower lengthwise down and use it to cook like a steak, like grill it or just pan fry it. Let's do a little review of what just happened here. So here we have like cauliflower florets just broken into pieces. These have been quartered with a knife to give that square edge on them. These are our little baby florets that I just used a little small paring knife to make by cutting the bigger ones down. Here we have cauliflower couscous that you saw me make. You could use that for sauteing, it's wonderful. And here you have sort of flat lengthways pieces of florets that would be great for searing in a pan. And that is how you prepare cauliflower. Well that concludes today's Back to Basics episode on how to cut cauliflower. I hope you learned something about cauliflower and I hope you're ready to tackle one of your own. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.